Good morning, everybody. Welcome to, I guess it's Sunday when you're watching this, Saturday here. And uh, workout's done. And I think this is episode 195. It means I've got five more episodes to hit that big 200 mark. When I started this, you know, 365 seemed a long ways away. I am almost 200 videos in, and it still seems a long way away, <laughs> to be honest. It'll get, I feel like it'll get easier when I'm on the road, right? Um, I'll have other stuff to cover besides just me standing in my driveway after my workout talking about motorcycles and, and work. So hopefully that'll be more entertaining for all of you that actually decide to continue watching me and hang out until we make it there. Anyway, this weekend's goal is to get Mama Badger's rear tire on, get all the oils changed on her bike. Um, hopefully get the v-rod over here and get all the oil changed in it and give it a good once over make sure it's ready to go for des and then i'm just waiting on my rear pulley for my bike so probably next weekend i will put the pulley on my bike get it back together get all the oils changed on it and then we've got like one more weekend and we're out of here so that weekend we'll probably wrap up every little thing around the house we need to do um you know lock it down get a give instructions to all of our neighbors that are watching our house and of course mom and Neve are here every day so you know all that fun stuff that you have to prep before you leave but anyway it's time for some coffee and then time to get out here and get to work in the heat it's gonna be a hot one again today welcome to Florida all right y'all so sometimes that redneck ingenuity has to come out in somebody when they need to get something done and they don't have the tool to do it so I have silver on blocks for my floor jack supporting, but the blocks held it up high enough for me to pull this out so I could put it under Angie's bike. And then, uh, thanks to Mustache Rob, I had this to help stabilize it as well. So, just like that, we're in business. So I got to change the rear tire on Mama Badger's bike, and then um, I. Uh, I gotta get the V-Rod over here. I need to change all the fluids on Mama Badger's bike as well. Thank goodness I've got an ample supply of AMS oil and some Lucas to get all that done with. So that is my, my goal today is to get Mama Badger's bike completely done and at least get the V-Rod in here and uh, start checking it over. And uh, yeah. Let's get some stuff done. Hi guys, old tire on Mama Badger's bike is off. Thought I'd show you side by side. 18,000 miles on the left, brand new on the right. So there's your brand new one. And there's one with 18,000 miles on it. And she also needs rear brakes, so we'll throw those on while we're there. I already have them here. I usually keep a couple of sets of brake pads at the garage, so I'll throw those on while I'm here. But anyway, thought I'd show you before I slap the new one on. All right, Mama Badger's got a brand new tire and new rear brakes, so she is ready to rock. I'm going to take it out for a ride, and then, uh, of course, i got to get it hot, too, so that I can change all the fluids. So kill two birds one stone get it all heated up so we can change all the oils out on it and uh, test ride it make sure everything feels good new brakes are working um, tires good all that fun stuff so at least I get to go for a ride we'll see you in a bit tell you what guys the bike did great now it's time for some oil and I have to admit pulling the plug on mama badger's bike Notice there is no metal shavings whatsoever on it. And that bike's got 92,000 miles on it. It's going to pass 100,000 miles on our next trip. And no, no little bits of metal, no nothing on the drain plug for the engine. That is pretty impressive. So for all you Harley haters out there, there you go. Bike with almost 100,000 miles on it. No engine rebuild, no nothing. And... The drain plug comes out looking like that so if you take care of them they'll take care of you 
So Mama Badger's bike did great on the test ride. Everything seems to be fine. Brakes are working great. Um, tire didn't fall off, so that's a good sign. And now we're changing the oil. And most of you probably already know I use AMSOIL. I'm an AMSOIL dealer. Uh, but I mean, if you don't want to be a dealer, you can be a preferred customer. But anyway, I get the oil change kit. And in the kit comes four quarts of oil, three for the motor, one for the transmission, and then I use their primary fluid and my primary. It also comes with a filter. You can order it in chrome or in black and an O-ring for your oil drain plug. So it comes with everything that you need. Um, and then, you know, everybody's got their own preference. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say they don't like to put 2050 in their transmission. My transmission on silver has 145,000 miles on it. Mama Badger's has 92,000. And when I drain the oil, it looks like brand new. So I've never had any issues using the 2050 in my transmission. So, I mean, it's worked for me, so I'm gonna keep doing it. But anyway, um, if you guys are ever interested in any AMSOIL stuff, there's always a link in all of my videos in the description. Um, just click on it and go there and shop to your little heart's content. I'm not selling you anything. Just whatever you find you think you want, um, buy away. Anyway, I can get her oil changed and then then I got to do baby badgers. So I actually have a filter for her, an AMSOIL filter, and uh, it gets the same treatment. It gets AMSOIL. Uh, the difference is primary and everything's all one piece. So I only drain it once and I fill it up once. But she's coming up next. And then Silver will get an oil change too once I get it all done and I can go ride it and warm it up. But uh, yeah, so far everything has went pretty well today. Um, I'm happy. So let's, let's hope that continues. All right guys, something pretty common on these uh, older 103s, 88s, 96s is the oil cap. And the oil cap here, um, this rubber gets hard after a while and it'll start to seep. Well, you can just throw this away and get another one and they're not that expensive. Or you can go get yourself an O-ring like this and you just take the O-ring, slide it over and slide it all the way to the top of it and it'll seal up just like a new one. So there you can see there's, I don't know if you can see it or not, but actually I put it the O-ring right there. And then when it goes down and slides in, it reseals it. And uh, it's good as new. You don't need to go buy another one. But if you wanna buy another one, like I said, they're not expensive. But uh, we throw everything away. If you can fix it, why throw it away? So there's a quick fix for your oil dipstick. All right. All the fluids are changed and I'm going to take it for one more ride and then I think Mama Badger's bike is ready for a 13,000 mile road trip. Then I just got to get back here and get the V-Rod ready and wait on my part. Getting closer every day. Let's take a ride. All right, I'm going to call today a success. I have two bikes mamas and babies that are ready to go on the trip uh, funny thing is i took i took the v-rod out for a ride today and i'm like man there's just not much in the front brake like the brake is definitely not performing up to the bike so um while i was in here changing oil and all on it i took the calipers off and i cleaned the pistons um holy crap It'll throw you over the front of the bike now. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to warn Desi when she gets on it that um, to be careful with that front brake because it is, uh, they're definitely working now. So uh, she's not gonna know what to do. Anyway, both the bikes are ready to go. Um, oil changes are all done, new tire on Angie's. And um, yeah, all we got is to get that pulley for silver, get that tire on and all the fluids changed on it hopefully next weekend and then all bikes should be ready for the trip do i have black on my face i feel like i do oh well if i do i do you know i've been working anyway so we got two of the three bikes ready to go um we have like two weekends left so hopefully next weekend i get silver all ready to go and then we hit the open road i cannot wait i don't I don't know how to explain it. I just love being out on the road. Um, I like getting up every day and riding and uh, going to new places and seeing new things and the whole nine yards. I just love it. So uh, I'm pretty excited. 
and uh, you know baby badger's going so that'll be cool she gets to experience something so she turns 21 this fall and she wanted to go on a cruise for her 21st birthday and so Angie and I had to talk to her and be like look um, you can either go on this trip with us or we'll go on that cruise with you um, your choice um, the cruise is a week this trip is like two months for her a month and a half for her so um, it's a no-brainer for me anyway she'll be going with us <laughs> if my parents said hey we got a motorcycle for you to ride and you can go cross-country with us there would have never been a doubt in my mind what I would have done but anywho um, I'm rambling now I am gonna clean up the garage put these two bikes up and uh, call it a night I think go get some food anyway we'll see you guys in a little bit